Today, we're going to talk about microwave. Not these kind of microwaves, because that's the kind of microwave that goes in the kitchen. We're going to talk about these type of microwaves. What you're looking at here is a microwave sensor that will emit a signal that will protect the blind spot of your vehicle. And today, we're going to talk about the features. I'm going to unbox it, and we're going to tell you everything you need to know about this product. Let's get started. Welcome back to Taddy Brothers. I'm Tamir, and we're discussing the microwave blind spot system, SKU number 55799. When we're done with this video, if you need more information, whip on over to taddybrothers.com, plug in that number, 55799, and you will get all the information that we discussed here, and then some. So the, the first question I get is, what do I need a blind spot system? What are the differences? So let me tell you a little bit more about that. The microwave blind spot system is a new level of microwave technology that is for the vehicle. All the premium vehicles have it. What it does is you take this sensor here, okay, and you take that black portion of it that you see there and you mount it against the wall of the bumper, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side in the back bumper of the vehicle. Then it sends out a signal. Whenever that signal gets interrupted, that means that there is a vehicle driving by and you get an LED readout that you see right here telling you that there is someone in your blind spot. If that fails you and they get too close, you're even gonna get three beeps from the included speaker in the system itself. It's very easy to set up. One of the benefits here is that because it goes behind the bumper, it isn't visible to the outside. So the car still keeps its aesthetics. If for example, you had an ultrasonic system, that technology, which we also do sell, forces you to drill a hole in the bumper and then put a sensor there, which would make it visible from the outside. It also makes the installation more complicated. As you can imagine, drilling holes, you're gonna be running more cables because you need more sensors. Here, you just need two of these sensors that we're showing you here. One goes on the passenger, one on the driver's side. From there, there are those wires that will go all the way to the front. They plug into the harness, the same place that the LED indicators plug into and the speaker. Then you plug it into 12 volts and you're good to go. The system is very easy to set up. We also provide you with very easy to follow instructions and diagrams. And if that fails you, obviously our American based tech team is always here to help. Now, let me show you the unboxing of this product. And I'm also going to do a bench test because I want you to see how quickly I get the bench test working to give you some kind of idea of how simple it would be for you to install it. Let's go over there now. Okay, so here are all the components that come with the microwave blind spot system. I'm gonna go over all the parts and then I'm actually gonna assemble it to show you how you would bench test it so you could see how it works before you install it. I actually recommend doing that before any installation because it gives you a better understanding of how the system works and it makes the installation cleaner and easier. So um, here are the parts. The first thing we're gonna show you is the LED indicators. You can see right here, these are really cool. You get two of these. They are excellent for daytime or nighttime viewing. They blink orange uh, when something comes near you and they're very thin and they're aesthetically pleasing. You mount it in the car, you have this little short wire here that gets extenders. Um, so you can mount it anywhere in the vehicle, but this is the LED light. See how thin that is? It's like a quarter, right? Like two quarters. All right, and next up is you have the speaker, the buzzer. This one will beep three times. If the lights don't alert you, the buzzer will. This can actually be disconnected, so you don't have to have that if you don't want it. So for example, in my vehicle, I don't have the sound uh, activated because I have the lights are enough for me. But you have that option, it comes with it. This is the speaker itself, really high quality sound, uh, very easy to set up, you buried under your dash or something. Different mounting options are available. You'll see it in the manual that's included. These are the extender cables, they're 15 feet each, meant for the LED indicators. The, again, you, you should see all these connectors are very heavy duty, okay? This is like very, uh, heavy duty rubberized stuff and it goes all the way in here. So there's no water that can get in there or anything like that. There are also like arrows over here. I'm not sure if that comes out on the camera that show you how to exactly connect the wires. When I do the bench testing, you'll see it. 
Next up is the microwaves themselves. These are the microwave emitters. Uh, this is the thickness of it right there. They're very, very heavy duty, uh, made out of metal. It's completely encased, it's closed, right? So you can't even get at it. Um, it's rubberized up here. This is where the microwave comes out. And what you do is you mount it on the inside of the bumper. So it's, it's touching the wall of the bumper pointing at the road. So no one from the outside can see it, but you have it. You, uh, you'll know that it's there, obviously. But this is the uh, microwaves themselves. You got holes in here for the mounting brackets, right? You get mounting brackets that go over here with screws, of course. Um, to help you mount it on the corner of your bumper so that you get that maximum uh, range that you want, the maximum effect. So you get two of these for each um, sensor that you have right here, the microwave sensor. Again, this is when you hold this in your hand, you'll see the kind of quality. It's hard to, to convey it over camera, but you could see the kind of metal it is. I mean, this is what work in any extreme weather you think you could throw at it. This thing is an unbelievable product, okay? right here and here are those brackets that we discussed for the mounting again this is everything of course waterproof and water resistant and uh, then you get also screws and zip ties they see right here finally this is the harness which is a really cool uh, upgrade to the product the this year's product because there's no more brain there used to be a brain that everything connected to it and then it would just everything would go off from there. So it's more wiring, it's more complexity here. You just get a harness and everything is connected to the harness. It is not as complicated as, as, it, looks, as it looks. As I'm gonna put it together for you guys right now, you'll see it's gonna take us less than five minutes to bench test it, okay? So we're gonna take the wires out. First thing I'm going to connect is the microwave sensors. Um, they, it doesn't matter which one goes where, as long as you know that you have the right sensor here and you have the left sensor here. We marked it to make it much easier for you guys uh, to know where to install it, right? Also makes it easier on the installer. And we know that whatever makes it easier for them lowers your price if you're gonna get it professionally installed. Otherwise, it makes it easier for you to do it. So I'm gonna connect the two arrows that are here. There's an arrow on the sensor and an arrow on the harness. We're gonna put them in front of each other and then put it together. When you hear the click, you know you are there. Let's do it with the other sensor now. This one, now we're doing the uh, right sensor. See right here, we're gonna line up those two arrows. Let me see that right there. And right there, that is the sensor portion that you see right there. Now let's flip around the harness. Okay, and let's connect the rest of the components before we uh, connect it to power, right here. So the next thing I'm going to connect is the uh, LED indicators. So let's take one here. <clears throat> uh, again, I'm gonna line it up with the arrows. There's an arrow here that you're gonna see, and there's an arrow here, and there's also a groove. These ones are a little bit easier to hook up, but you're gonna see it like that. And then when you hear the click, you're there, you always want to hear that click so you know that it's connected. Otherwise it's a loose connection. When it doesn't work right, it's gonna make everyone nuts. So you wanna make sure you see that click. Uh, and then the same thing with this one here. We're gonna line up the arrows and there's actually a groove, right? Like I said, and we're gonna put it in. We got the click, now we got the displays. So that will go over here, okay? Last but not least, before we turn on the power, is the uh, speaker that goes right here with this one. Again, everything fits where it goes. So you can't actually connect the microwave into some other socket because it just won't fit. So it makes it, the process of elimination also makes it easier in addition to the manuals and videos that you get with it, right? So here is this one here, plug that in. Okay, now we got the speaker and we are good. So we have the speakers connected, the LEDs, and we have the microwaves. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to move the microwave over here so it's easier for me to try to activate it when we're bench testing because I want you guys to see the lights and hopefully hear it. So let's put that here. Now we're gonna put these aside and let me use my uh, trusty alligator clips. Okay, so you have here the power ground and then you have the triggers. So the first thing you wanna connect is the power and ground. That's the black goes to the ground and the red goes to the power like that. 
Okay, now before I use the triggers, you see the lights are already turning on for you. Let's try it again. Bring, I'll try to bring it closer to the camera, All right? These are the lights, you see them? That's how that goes. So the closer something gets, you're gonna get a few uh, blinks of the light, so it's gonna grab your attention so you know there's something there. Now, if you want the speaker to work, it's gonna beep three times when you're really pushing it, when something's really close to you. So let me try to trigger that for you guys. <clears throat> right here. And that is the speaker sound. Okay, so you're gonna hear that. Again, you can deactivate it if you don't want it, but it is there as well. But that is it. I mean, I think we just bench tested in less than three minutes. That is the general component. It's very, very easy to install it. Everything just wires in. The wires are very <clears throat> flexible and durable at the same time. So it makes the fishing it through the vehicle if you needed to, makes it very easy. But of course, you can call our USA base team and they'll help you out, right? So it's not, it's not that complicated. And you know in the manual, there's a bunch of videos showing you more granularly how to set it up. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's go back to the studio and wrap it up. We have now done the unboxing. We've gone over all the components and we have done a bench test. When you get the product or if you get the product, I strongly recommend you do the same exact bench test. By putting it all together, it will give you a better understanding of how the system works and it'll make the installation cleaner and quicker. Other than that, let me go over some of the benefits that you get from Taddy Brothers beyond the excellent product that I just showed you. The first thing is anything you purchase from us gets you a 30 day, 100% money back guarantee, which means if you buy the product and you're not happy for any reason, if you don't like the smell of the tape we used to close the box, give us a call. Our American based team will tell you what you need to do to just send it back and we'll give you a full refund. No questions asked. If you decide to keep it, which we know you will, you get a one year warranty which means that if any of the components fail in that one year period, we will just change it out for a new one. Give us a call, same tech team here in America, we'll take care of you for that. If you are still not sure about us, if this video didn't do it, whip on over to Trustpilot, type in Taddy Brothers, and you will see our hundreds and hundreds, I think we're closing in on a thousand, five star verified reviews. We're very proud of that, I don't mind bragging about it because our service team works really hard to achieve that. Once you see that and you know you have to buy from us, give us a call. Even if you have questions, our agents will gladly answer whatever questions you have. You call them up at 866-966-5550. If you even want to talk to me, I'm Tamir. You can call me anytime and just ask for me. I'm here all day and it would be an honor to earn your business. From all of us here at Taddy Brothers, thanks for watching and have a great day.